next on BGSU Brain Game. It is Bowling Green versus Heritage Christian. I think we better get ready for a mighty mental mashup. Only one team can leave victorious. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out. BGSU's Brain Game starts right now. And welcome to BGSU Brain Game. Let's meet our starting lineups for tonight. For Bowling Green, led by Mr. Parrish. In slot number one, we have Mason, a junior. In slot number two, we have Alexandra, a senior. And in slot number three, Ariana, a sophomore. Now for Heritage Christian, led by Miss Lindwall. In slot number one, we have Lauren, a senior. Micah in slot number two, also a senior. And in slot number three, Chris, he is a senior. That's a senior lineup for Heritage Christian. All right, it's time to get things started here on BGSU Brain Game, as we always do. It's the toss-up round. There are 10 questions in this round. They're worth 10 points apiece. No deduction for an incorrect answer. So you can play a little bit looser on your buzzers if you'd like. You can confer before buzzing in, and you can steal a question in this round. Heritage Christian, Bowling Green, are you ready? Let's get to the Brain Game. First question, multiple choice. In his search for the Northwest Passage, Captain James Cook charted some of this U.S. state's coastline in 1778. In 1792, Captain Robert Gray, in his ship Columbia, claimed the area for the U.S. Name this, that would be, uh, that would be Heritage Christian, Lauren. Hawaii. Incorrect. Name this state, is it A, Washington, B, Maine, or C, Oregon? Bowling Green, chance to steal. That would be Mason, slot number one. Maine. Incorrect, C, Oregon. Which medical term refers to a condition in which the brain maintains the body temperature at higher than normal level as a means of fighting off a disease? That would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Fever. It is indeed a fever. What science term refers to the many sides of a gemstone or to the many, that would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Facets. Facets is correct. Another multiple choice question. Which term from statistics designates how well a line fits a set of data points? The correct response can be described as strong or weak or positive or net. That would be Bowling Green, Mason. Correlation. Correlation is correct. Didn't even need the multiple choice. Cheryl is about to remove or delete all of the files within her computer that she no longer needs. What verb that begins with the letter P designates this action? That would be Bowling Green, Alexandra. Purge. Purge is what we were looking for, correct. Typically used to designate a church or skyscraper feature, these tapering conical or pyramidal structures sit, at, that would be Heritage Christian, Chris. Steeple. Incorrect. Uh, or will we accept steeple? She will accept steeple, there we go, all right, you got it. In 19, excuse me, this 1932 satire presents a future totalitarian society characterized by leisure industries and genetic, that would be Heritage Christian, Micah. 1984. Incorrect, identify this work by Aldous Huxley. Bowling Green, chance to steal. Time, we needed a brave new world there. In 2017, this unit of the armed forces graduated its first female infantry officer since its inception in 1798. That would be Bowling Green, Mason. Army. Incorrect, Heritage Christian, chance to steal. That would be Lauren. Navy. Incorrect, U.S. Marine Corps is what we needed there. Name the first Roman emperor to be converted to Christianity. That would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Constantine. Constantine is correct. Both the Homestead Act and the Morrill Act that allowed for creation of land-grant colleges in the United States were signed into law by which U.S. president? That would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Jefferson. Incorrect, Bowling Green, chance to steal. That would be Alexandra. Madison. Incorrect, Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln, that is all 10 questions in this round. Let's take a look at our score. BG at 20, Heritage Christian currently in the lead with 40 points. 
but we're just getting started here at BGSU Brand Game. Stick around, our risk and reward rounds coming up next. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game Bowling Green 20 Heritage Christian at 40 points. Before we move on, looks like Bowling Green has shuffled the deck on their lineup. Let's check out our substitutes. In slot number one, we have Owen, a sophomore. In slot number two, we have Ben, a senior. And in slot number three, Edison, a sophomore. Welcome to our new players and our returning players from last round. Now this is the risk and reward round. Both teams are gonna receive the same 10 questions. The first nine, 10 points apiece, no deduction for an incorrect answer. 10th question though is where things get a little bit interesting. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments on a topic that we give you. If you get it right, you get the bonus points. You get it wrong, sorry, you're gonna lose those points. Non-answer, gonna lose points for that too. But if you don't like the topic, you can simply pass. Sound good? All right, BG 20, Heritage Christian 40. Heritage Christian, you're sticking around. Bowling Green, right this way. Off to isolation you go. All right, Heritage Christian, are you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. Usually isolated and volcanic in origin, these mountains found on the ocean floor are conical and rise at least 1,000 meters. By what name are they known? That would be Micah. Cone. Incorrect. Seamount is what we needed there. Find the average of these three numbers, 56 plus 63 plus 34. Time. 51 is what we needed there. On to what type of metaphorical carriage do people jump when they adopt a view or that would be Chris. Bandwagon. They jump on the bandwagon. Yep. Multiple choice question. What does the Latin saying, saying caveat emptor mean? Is it A, let the buyer beware, B, tomorrow be ours, or C, follow the money? That would be Chris. B. Incorrect. A, let the buyer beware. Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor of California from 2003 to 2011. What was the country of his birth? That would be Lauren. Germany. Incorrect, Austria, Austria. Who was the good guy, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? That would be Chris. Dr. Jekyll. Correct. In what year did the fall of Saigon, Vietnam occur? Was it A, 1974, B, 1975, or C, 1976? That would be Lauren. B. B is correct, 1975. On what kind of scale, beginning with the letter L, is the Richter scale based on? That would be Chris. Logarithmic. Logarithmic is correct. Spell the word amateur. That would be Chris. A-M-A-T-U-E-R. E-U-R. Incorrect. E-U-R. E-U-R. Risk and reward time. The topic is War Generals. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments or you can pass. Heritage Christian, what do you think? We'll do 10. 10 points, fair enough, here we go. Risk and reward, War Generals. Name the Revolutionary War General who tried to sell West Point to the British. Time, Benedict Arnold, yep. All right, that is all 10 questions in the risk and reward round for you. Heritage Christian, you stand at 70 points. It is now time for you to go off to isolation right that way. All right, let's bring back in Bowling Green. Come on in. All right, BG, you ready for your risk and reward round? Starts right now. Usually isolated and a volcanic in origin, these mountains found on the ocean floor are conical and rise at least 1,000 meters. By what name are they known? Uh, uh, in time? No. Oh, C-mounts is what we needed there. Find the average of these three numbers, 56 plus 63 plus 34. 
51 is what we needed there. Onto what type of metaphorical carriage do people jump when they adopt a view or embrace a fad that is in current popularity? That would be Ben. Bandwagon. Bandwagon is correct. Multiple choice time. What does the Latin saying caveat emptor mean? Is it A, let the buyer beware, B, tomorrow be ours, or C, follow the money? That would be Ben. Uh, A. A, let the buyer beware is correct. Arnold Schwarzenegger was governor of California from 2003 to 2011. What was the country of his birth? Austria. That would be Ben. Austria. Austria is correct. Who was the good guy, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? That would be Ben. Dr. Jekyll. It is indeed Dr. Jekyll. Multiple choice. In what year did the fall of Saigon, Vietnam occur? Was it A, 1974, B, 1975, or C, 1976? That would be Ben. A. Incorrect. B, 1975. On what kind of scale, beginning with the letter L, is the Richter scale based? That would be Ben. Logarithmic. Logarithmic. Logarithmic is correct. Correct. Spell the word amateur. That would be Owen. A M A T E U R. Correct. Risk and reward time. The topic is war generals. You can risk up to 30 points in five point increments on this topic or you can pass. Bowling Green, what do you think? Okay. Uh, we'll risk 10 points. 10 points, fair enough. Here we go, war generals for 10 points. Name the Revolutionary War general who tried to sell West Point to the British. That would be Ben. Anthony Wayne. Incorrect, Benedict. Arnold, that's right, negative 10 points for you. That is the end of the risk and reward round for you. It is now time to clear our scores and let's bring back in Heritage Christian. All right, let's see where our teams stand. Heritage Christian stands at 70 points and Bowling Green stands at 70 points. We are tied, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna have an exciting round. The category rounds coming up next. Questions are worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points, and deduction starts. So stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game. Bowling Green, 70. Heritage Christian, 70. It doesn't get any closer than that. Before we get to our next category, let's uh, welcome back some of our players and a new player returning for Bowling Green. We have Mason, a junior, and Alexandra, a senior. And in for Heritage Christian in slot number one is Seth, and you are a senior. That's right. Okay. Uh, this is the category round. There are six categories to choose from. Questions ranging from 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 points apiece. But that's right. Deductions, they start right now. That's right, if you're going for 20, you are risking 20 points. You may confer before buzzing in, but not after, and you can steal a question in this round. And somewhere in there, there should be a double or nothing question. Could be a game changer. All right, uh, we are tied, so we did a coin toss, and Bowling Green won it, so you get to make the first selection. Could we have types of meat for 15, please? Types of meat for how many? 15? 15. Answer the questions related to types of meat. What is the name for the type of meat that is obtained from a young cow? That would be Bowling Green, Ben. Veal. Veal is correct. Bowling Green maintains control, takes the lead. Meat for 20. Meat for 20 points. This is the double or nothing question. It is open to all buzzers. What animal provides us with calamari? That would be Heritage Christian. Chris. Octopus. 
Will we accept octopus? We will not accept octopus. Bowling Green chance to steal. Mason. Squid. Squid is what we needed there. No deduction for you, but double the points for BG. All right, uh, BG still in control. Meat for 30. Meat for 30 points. What type of bird are you eating if you are eating squab? You're eating a poor little pigeon. That's what you're eating, a poor little pigeon. All right, Bowling Green in control. Meat for 25. Meat for 25 points. What name is given to the meat from a mature sheep? That would be Heritage Christian, Chris. Mutton. Mutton is correct. Heritage Christian snatches control. Uh, we'll go science begins with E. Science uh, begins with E for how many? For 20. For 20. What is the outermost layer of skin called on a human? That would be Heritage Christian, Chris. Epidermis. Epidermis is correct. Heritage Christian making a move in control. We'll go science begins with E uh, for 15. Science for 15. What tube in the human body transports food from the, that would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Esophagus. Esophagus is correct. Heritage Christian takes the lead. We'll go science begins with E for 25. Science now for 25. What is the area called near the mouth of a river where the fresh water mixes and the salt water, mixes with the salt water from the ocean? Time estuary is what we needed there. Heritage Christian still in control though. Three. We'll go science begins with E for 30. Science begins with E for 30 points. What is the scientific name for red blood cells? Time erythrocytes is what we needed there. Heritage Christian still in control. We'll go science begins with E for 10. Science begins with E for 10 points. Pure substance made up of only one kind of atom is called what? That would be Bowling Green, Mason. Element. Element is correct. Bowling Green takes back control and the lead. Do we feel weather? Let's do World War I for 15. World War I for 15 points. Name these things having to do with World War I. This is the kind of rapid firing gun invented 30 years before World War I was refined, that would be Heritage Christian Seth. Gatling gun? Will we accept Gatling gun? We will not accept a Gatling gun. Was refined, made smaller and more portable, and used extensively to inflict casualties on enemy soldiers, BG chance to steal. That would be Mason. Machine? Machine gun, yes. Uh, World War One for 20. World War One for 20 points. Soldiers in World War I wore gas masks to protect themselves from several, that would be Heritage Christian, Micah. Mustard gas. Mustard gas is correct. Uh, Heritage Christian in control. Crossword for 15. Crossword clues Z for 15. I will give you a crossword clue with the number of letters in first letter. You reply with a correct word. This is four letters. The concept of none. That will be Bowling Green, Ben. Zero. Zero, well done. And BG takes control. Uh, crosswords for 20. Crosswords for 20 points. Six letters, a device for fastening garments. That would be Bowling Green, Alexandra. Zipper. Zipper is correct, BG making a move. Crossword for 10. Crossword for 10. Four letters, word for the Greek letter Z. That would be Bowling Green, Alexandra. Zeta. Zeta is correct, BG still in control. Meat for 10. Meat for 10. What is the meat of a deer called? That would be Heritage Christian, Chris. Venison. Venison is correct. Heritage Christian takes back control. We'll go crossword for 25. Crossword for 25. Four letters, excuse me, four letters, ludicrously or whimsically comical. That would be Bowling Green, Ben. Zane. Z uh, will we accept Zane? We will not accept Zane. Heritage Christian chance to steal. That would be Seth. Zany. Zany is what we needed there specifically. Heritage Christian in control. We're tied again. Oh my goodness. Crossword for 30. Crossword for 30. Six letters. Slang term for utter exhaustion. That would be Bowling Green, Ben. Zapped. Zapped is correct or zonked. We would have taken one or the other. 
Uh, Heritage Christian, BG, excuse me, BG in control. Uh, weather for 15. Weather for 15 points. Weather lingo. These clouds hang low in the sky and resemble fog. End of round. Strat is what we're looking for there. Let's take a look at our score. Whew, doesn't get much closer than this. Heritage Christian, 170. Bowling Green, 200 points. Very, very close competition. Still, anybody's game. You're going to stick around because it's all coming up next. Brainstorm round questions worth 20 points apiece. Negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. Anybody's game. Stay tuned. And welcome back to BGSU Brain Game, a very close competition. Heritage Christian at 170, Bowling Green at 200. Before we get to our final round, let's welcome back some new players and some returning players for Bowling Green. In slot number one, a new player, Cole. He is a sophomore. Ben playing musical chairs back in slot number two. And in slot number three, returning is Ariana, a sophomore. And Heritage Christian staying with their lineup from the last round. So welcome to our new and returning players from the last round and before. This is it, the brainstorm round. All questions in this round are worth 20 points, negative 20 points for an incorrect answer. You may confer before buzzing in, not after, but you cannot, I repeat, you cannot steal a question in this round. Heritage Christian, BG, are you ready? Brainstorm starts right now. Name the idea that living organisms arise only from other living organisms. That would be Heritage Christian Seth. Evolution. Incorrect. Biogenesis. On what planet is Olympus Mons the largest known volcano? That would be Bowling Green Coal. Mars. Mars is correct. In what type of government does a religious leader rule the state? That would be Bowling Green. Ben. Theocracy. Theocracy is correct. How many lobes does your right lung have? That would be Bowling Green Coal. Two. Incorrect. Three. Which U.S. president was called his rot rotundity? That would be Heritage Christian Micah. Taft. Incorrect. John Adams. Diwali is a five-day festival celebrated primarily in what nation? That would be Bowling Green Coal. India. India is correct. This famous physicist and mathematician invented the reflecting telescope. That would be Bowling Green. Ben. Newton. Newton is correct. What is the longest river in China? That would be Heritage Christian. Micah. The Yellow River. Incorrect. The Yangtze. What Greek letter is used in math and science to indicate a change in any quant? That would be Heritage Christian. Chris? Delta. Delta is correct. What is it called when a solid converts directly into a gas? That would be Heritage Christian. Chris? Sublimation. Sublimation is correct. What do we call baby swans? Signets. Who is the Norse god of trickery and fire? That would be Bowling Green, Ben. Loki. Loki is correct. If a star has insufficient mass to become a black hole, when it collapses, it becomes a what? That would be Bowling Green, coal. Uh, supernova. Incorrect, a neutron star. In total, how many voting members are there in the US Congress? That would be Heritage Christian, Micah. 200 and, sorry, 325. Incorrect, 535, 535. In what South American country would you find Machu Picchu? That would be Bowling Green, Ben. Peru. Peru is correct. According to Greek myth, what did Prometheus steal from the gods? That would be Bowling Green, Ariana. Fire. He stole fire to give to humankind. End of round. Let's take a look at our score. We have Heritage Christian at 130, and our winner with 300 points is Bowling Green. Let's give both these teams a big round of applause.
In the spirit of good sportsmanship, let's come out, meet in the middle, shake hands, and we will see you at the next BGSU Brain Game.